Flashback. We are at Rusty's Off Road in Rainbow City, Alabama. And this is what we bought. The whole entire Jeep is full, chock full of parts. See that? We are loaded full of Rusty's parts. Several days later. All right, so I got a phone call today, Ken, when you got back to town. Yeah. That a new project has arrived. Yeah. Did you, you, didn't, did you even know I was leaving? I knew you were leaving. You didn't know I why. knew you were going to Florida. Yeah, uh, I didn't know you were going to Alabama. Yeah. And I certainly didn't know you were bringing a Jeep back. Surprise! <laughs> Can I ask one question? Yeah. What's the project for? Well, a Grand Cherokee. <laughs> I mean... It's a Grand Cherokee. Do you know what this is, right? I know what it is, but it's sitting right next to your Cherokee, which is sitting next to your JL, which is sitting next to your Gladiator. I'm just curious what, what you're doing with this one. I have a Commander as well. And the Commander. <laughs> it's and not is here. There, is there any other random ones later? <laughs> I don't know. No, I think that's it. That's it. I got rid of all the okay. CJs. Anyways, we, uh... I don't... Do I have to have a reason? You don't have to have a reason. Okay, cool. The, I just need to know if this is like a marriage. If I have to make no. crap up, I'll make crap up. No, you don't have to. I have a reason I want to build this. All right. Well, I I'm don't here. want to tell you why. So, uh, obviously, uh, 94 Grand Cherokee. It's been sitting, I'm gonna hit, I hate to break it to you, for like 10 years. <laughs> it's been sitting for a while. A long like it's, time. It's wait, got, listen, I was like, you, you can tell, this is not patina, this is mildew. <laughs> it's like magic. I think there's good paint under there. <laughs> there's beautiful paint under there. Yes. So, obviously, you could tell this came from the south, because I can also look and see that there's, well, no rust. Yeah. So, this was from Rusty's Off-Road. Oh, I went and picked nice. it up from him. Uh, he put his ZJ long arm kit on there for a magazine article way back in 2005. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. years ago. <laughs> a long time ago. And uh, it's been kind of sitting ever I since. Had, I had hair in 2005. I do not believe that, <laughs> by the way. I have all mine. I, I could donate for him. <laughs> we can make Bob a wig. <laughs> that would be a hell of a yeah, video. Not I'm not cutting my hair that I way. don't want to put your hair on my hair. So it's been sitting forever. <laughs> Rusty knew I wanted this project for a very specific reason, and so I went and picked it up from him. Uh, and he was very transparent. It was very obvious that I'm gonna have to go through this whole thing. Oh, so yeah. that's no, what we're gonna no. do. But it has a lot of good stuff. It does. The tires are from 2005. And have so about what, 15 miles on them? Yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna keep the tires. I got some new ones. We'll keep the wheels because they're actually nice wheels. Um, we're gonna redo the whole suspension. Under the hood, there's a lot of goodies. Uh, come over and check out this hood. So it has the Rusty's battery mount for the Optima battery. But I w I'm here to tell you that Optima batteries are absolutely freaking garbage. So we're going to modify this. Wait, wait, wait. Even from 2005? I'm just kidding. Well, back then they were actually probably decent. <laughs> back then they were probably actually Unfortunately, decent. this one's done. Yeah. Um, so we're going to modify this somehow, some way, shape, or form to, fit, to fit a modern or a normal battery. I just want to go back to a normal battery. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this style battery. It has the upgraded aftermarket aluminum valve cover. It's got uh, the old school rusty uh, cold air or hot air. In uh, it we're going to call it air intake. <laughs> Um, it's got, we got more algae growing up. Oh my God, that's so gross. <laughs> that is disgusting. That's like stuff you see on boats. Fine. Well, we're going to have to, um, Land we're going to have to do some stuff under this hood, like probably tune up belts, hoses, thermostats. Oh yeah. I'm sure all this stuff is, is sitting that long. You're not yeah. going to run into that stuff. Yeah. We're just going to swap a whole bunch of this stuff out. And, um, I'm going to talk to some buddies about either maybe doing some paint work on the side over there. Yeah, I noticed, so the cladding's gone off of here, but it looks like these are all welded shut. Huh? Yep, so there's a few more to weld shut and a few more down here to weld shut if we want to run this down and just get it painted. Or it came with all the body cladding they took off, we could redrill holes, oh, holes and paint yep, all yep, this yep, and yep. just put them back on. I guess that's a decision we'll have to make. But we're missing a little bit of paint here, a little bit of paint there. The I kind of like it that Isn't way. It? It what good. do you guys think? Should we put the body cladding back on or should we continue the body work and just paint this thing? We'll also, one other thing that it came with, uh, Eric, if you want to pan down, um, are about a million killer hornets that I've just been stepping on. <laughs> They're everywhere. I don't know what those things are, but... Uh... I think Eric Googled it. What is it? The Alabama... Red paper wasp, I believe. Yeah. Red paper wasp. They, they, All I know... They can have... <laughs> they don't like being here because as soon as it got cold, they don't move so well. Look how nice the inside is, Bob. This is immaculate in here. A lot of spare parts in here. Came with a lot of parts. Came with a lot of parts. So I mean, if you really look though, loaded leather, power everything. It's got a JVC head unit, which is probably good enough for our application wiring that I'm not even sure what it goes to. I don't think anybody knew what it was. Oh, rear view mirror. They used to go to a rear view mirror. It's right here, there's a rear view mirror. Let me see. Oh, it's got dimmers and stuff, or lights, lights map yeah. lights. We'll have to put that back on there. We'll add that to our list. 
<coughs> we've got uh, all sorts of parts. Here's parts and parts and parts. We're not gonna show you all those parts right now because you gotta wait and see what they're all. This is the body cladding. That's gonna be, open that up. What's in there, Bob? Look like shocks, but I don't know how to take one out. <clears throat> Certainly is. Can I open it, open it? Yeah. Well, nope. It's gonna, it's gonna come out the other end. <laughs> Jump right in here. It's dirty now. Shocks. Yep. Are these the same white bodies that I have on my teacher? Yep. Or my jail? Yep. Phenomenal shocks. So, we've got four shocks, new steering stabilizer, we've got rear sway bar links, we've got bushings, those are his super awesome new. Oh, those are the new ones. Those are the new control arm yep, bushings. Yep. Uh, these are sway bar disconnects. So we include all that. Or wash it so we picked it all up. New air filter, because that one's ancient. A differential cover. And there's more parts in the back. It's like a treasure trove of parts. It's locked. We don't even know if it runs. We don't even know if we can make it run. We haven't even messed with none of that yet. Look, look sure at the green. Look how green that is. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. It reminds me of like baby poop after they eat that. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's I'm gross. A father. I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're this talking about. This doesn't stay up. I'll hold it. Has a extra here. skid for the T case and the gas tank. We have an advanced adapters SYE kit. We got some gears and a whole box. This has all new joints, his new rubber bushings. All new housings, everything. Everything. So we literally have everything it takes to rebuild this whole suspension. Here, let's open one. So those are his brand new joints that just came out. So this kit got installed in 2005, never got used. And we're gonna upgrade everything that never got used. <laughs> So it'll get used now though. Yeah. I think the first order of business is getting the mold off. Or is that I mean, moss? That's moss, right? I mean, that, that sounds fun, but I think it would be even better to start with, uh, well, starting it. Can we just, can we just hook a battery up and just listen to the radio? Hook a battery up and just listen to the radio. Do you think the radio works? What do you guys think we should do next week? I don't know. I want to start it. Let's go through it and start it. All right, let's do that. You want to do that? Eric, what do you what do you want to do? You want to start it? I don't care what we do. So, have you ever? Uh, I know we don't do how-to videos, but do you want to do a how-to video on how to start vehicles with sitting for 10, 15 years? Yeah, we can do that. You want to do that? Yeah. Do you think you it's want to be see really, that? It's going to be very intricate. Do you think they'd like an intricate video? Should we just hit the highlights and then just start it and see if it smokes? <laughs> I like that plan. <laughs> Hook the battery up, smoke starts rolling out of stuff. Be like, well, got this. Wiring's bad, yeah. That's <laughs> Keep the fire extinguisher nearby. Anyways, well, I say we give it a give it a go next week. Let's do that. Let's start it. All right.